And then anyway, let's get into the, the sessions. I'm assuming you're warmed up. If you are ready to go, we'll hit it now. So we're gonna do swings for 15. So you've either got your single, single bell swing, boom, exploding through, or coming in with a double swing. So having the two, two bells, one in each hand, exploding through, depending on how strong you are and what access you've got. So the idea is to make it heavy, especially by the third set. So you've got 15 reps of that. You can even tie the band around to make them a bit, bit more snappy. But 15 reps, straighten the broad jumps, exploding, boom, catch yourself jumping back. So it's gonna be 10. Now, once you've hit that, so you've got three rounds of that through, once you've hit that, just spend a little bit of time prepping yourself. If you need to stretch out your hips or anything, we're gonna get back into the double kettlebell rack squats. So you're gonna get ready for that. So if you need to stretch anything, get yourself any looser, do that in between, and we'll hit, the, hit it hard. So pause the video, guys. Three sets of 15 swing, uh, swings. We said swangs, <laughs> which I uh, sometimes say. Um, three sets of 15 swings and three sets of 10 broad jumps. Pause the video, let's go. Alrighty, so the tension set for today, we're going double kettlebell front squats for eight, and then stiff-legged deadlifts for 12. All right, now, when you're hitting these, let's get, you've done enough of them to know now, but what I want to recap is keeping that chest out, shoulders pinned back, set your feet to where they feel comfortable. I find just outside hip width is good for a front squat. Chest up, core tight, knees out, nice and low, boom, exploding through. Boom, exploding through. Paying attention to what those knees are doing. Don't let them kick in or out. We want to keep them still. Okay, now with the stiff dead, feet together. Ass out, chest out, you're going long. Stretch those hamstrings, boom, exploding up. Now, if you're a freak of nature, which some of you are, I know you are, but what we're gonna do, if, if you can stretch way past your feet, you're super flexible, you can stand on something and give it a little bit more reach. I still want you to keep your back flat though. Come down, 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 down. You might find that you can get, you know, you might stand on something that high and you get that little bit of extra stretch. Do that. You wanna really maximize that stretch on the hamstrings, give them a good work. So hitting eight and 12, four rounds through, pause the video, go now. All right, it's booty building time. We're going kettlebell reverse lunges, six each side. Now, the longer you lunge back, the more glute it will be. If you're in a little bit closer, be a bit more quaddy. So you're gonna get the bells, chest out, shoulders back, big step back, bend the knee, stepping back in. Okay, and you'll do the same leg. You'll do six each side, and then you're gonna come straight down into glute bridges. So you're gonna have one leg up, core tight. You're gonna make sure the abs are tight, not just relaxing that abs, and drive through your foot and mid foot and heel. Hold, squeeze, coming back down. Up, hold, squeeze, coming back down. So you're gonna do 12 on each side. Up, boom. Okay, so really focus on making sure that you're getting that glute and hamstring to do the work. You're not just sort of arching your back and belly up and you wanna, you wanna make sure that drive's coming through the big caboose and that way we can get some booty building in. Anyway, four rounds of that, six of the lunges, 12 of the glute bridges, go now. Okay, a burnout superset we're gonna do. So hollow tucks, you got 100 total, you got banded hamstring curls for 100 total laying down. Now with the hollow tucks, you're basically gonna do them weighted. So you can be here, abs nice and tight, um, back stuck to the floor, you gotta come all the way out, boom, extend it back in. Boom, extend it back in. If you want, if you want, you can put it on your legs. You can do two bells. That is up to you. That'll make it a little bit harder. It'll also, if you've got uh, weak, weak, soft shins like mine, it might feel a little uncomfortable. You might want a pillow on there or a mat or something. But you can do that. That'll load it harder. It'll make it a lot tougher. Okay, so that you're going to do 100 of them total, whether you do sets of 25 or 30, it's up to you do the best you can to do it in as minimal sets as possible, just like the arms we did the other day. Supersetting it with hamstring curls. So band comes all the way down the bottom of the pole, or table, or whatever you've got access to. You're gonna lay down. Now, pro tip, I don't have it here, but you can do it, you can set this up at home. If you put a pillow under your knees, it'll feel better. And if you put another pillow under your hips, so you've got like a pillow here, and a pillow under your knees, it'll just feel more comfortable. Um, up to you, but you can you can do that. See the hamstring curls, you're coming in, boom, straighten them out, boom, boom. Okay, so 100 of them. Make sure that you're not just doing this. You really wanna get that full hamstring curl so you get the most out of the movement. Now guys, once you've finished all that, have a good stretch out, get ready for next week, but training is going great. You're doing really, really well, I know. This is just so you guys know, because this is uh, this is being filmed in the COVID times right now. It's the first time I've spoken about this in the actual kettlebell domination program, but we've been back in, in Royal Fitness Open for the for the regional people for four weeks now. The kettlebell domination crew that were doing it all the way through have come in and they're absolutely smashing the people who are just doing nothing or doing their own thing in that time. Their strength with kettlebells is incredible, but they've also trans transitioned it over to barbells 
very, very quickly. One of the boys last night hit 27 reps at his body weight, which was the record for the gym, which is just super impressive. And all he was doing was this kettlebell domination program in the in the thing. He had the same setup that we had with, with you guys where I recommended having a lighter bell, the heavier bell on the band. He just followed the plan came back in, he's hitting records. There's a lot of people in the same boat, getting stronger overhead, getting stronger in their strength endurance with their legs, like it's, it's, it's absolutely incredible. So guys, I know, you, you know you're, you're craving to get back into the gym, you're craving to do stuff, but keep trusting the process, you're doing a great job, keep doing, making the most with what you've got, it'll be back soon and you guys will be ready. You know, you're not going to come in and, and feel uh, out of place. You'll come in and absolutely thrive and dominate. So just so you know, I wanted to let you guys know that the this, this actual plan of the kettlebell plan is working as good, if not better, than some of the programs that we've run in Royal with the barbells and stuff. So keep at it, keep progressing, because it's going to build up all of those little weak points and different areas that you haven't hit and take it to a whole new level. Anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. But keep, keep training hard, stay strong, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.